Okay, so our next step is we need to have some node that we want to manage with Chef. We've got our Chef server running. We've got our mm -hmm. uh, workstation running. So our final step is to configure some sort of node. And as we've okay. discussed, we're going to use uh, Vagrant in order yeah. to run a node for you. So actually, you mm -hmm. can go back into your Chef repo directory. Okay. Why don't we just put our Vagrant file here? So, okay. So Patrick, you've already installed Vagrant, is that correct? Uh, yes, I have Vagrant running. Um, the Vagrant file, uh, I don't have a template right now, but we could check one. Oh, so we can do just Vagrant space init. Ah, okay. Okay, ah, great. this okay. has created a Vagrant file for you. Hey, Patrick, uh, it might be good to uh, check in on our Git status and see where we are. I want to make sure that we are committing things as we go along. Oh, that's very important, yeah. So the first so, thing I would do is I would not add your .chef directory. I would add that to uh, your Git ignore because you really don't want to be checking in, uh, see your PEM files. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I'm very, yeah. Okay, and now uh, git add git ignore. Um, and git add vagrant file. Okay. Okay. All right, great. Now, what I'd like to do is let's go ahead and edit your Vagrant file. We're going to make some changes here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, okay. <clears throat> so the nice thing about Vagrant is that it's a, a wrapper around VirtualBox. We can configure it very easily with uh, this Vagrant file, which is just a Ruby file. So the first thing that we need to do is configure a, a vm.box. So this is going to be the box that we're going to build off of. And actually, if you look down a couple more lines, you'll see this config vm box URL that's mm -hmm. commented out. Let's yeah. go ahead and comment that back in, and I'm going to give you a URL to use. Uh, and in fact, if you'd like to browse to github.com slash opscode mm -hmm. mm -hmm. slash bento, B-E-N-T-O. Yeah. Ah, okay. Now this is uh, a repository that Opscode manages. We use uh, a number of different Vagrant boxes for a, a tool called Test Kitchen, which maybe we'll get to at some point. However, mm -hmm. the important thing or the nice thing about this is that we have Vagrant boxes that are pre-configured with Chef that might be good for us to use. And certainly this will be the quickest way for us to get started here. So one of mm -hmm. the things that I'd like you to do is just scroll down the page there and you'll see that there are a number of different Vagrant instances that we have, uh, including a number of Ubuntu versions or, or Ubuntu boxes. I think we should go ahead and build off of the Opscode Ubuntu 12.04, if that's all right with you. Okay. Yeah. So let's just copy the URL that's linked there. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, yeah, I copied already, and Great. I'm inserting it here in this. Yeah. yeah, so you can put it right into the Vagrant file. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, oh, sorry, that's that's the 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 text. But if you uh, ah, okay, the 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 all is different. Okay, yeah. Right. Um. So I need to put this. You can put that there. Yep. That that that's oh, great. Okay. And, and then... here the GitHub. Um, it won't be the GitHub, actually. <clears throat> okay. No, so if you go back to that GitHub page, you'll see that where it says Opscode Ubuntu 12.04, it's actually a link off to mm -hmm. a, a location on S3. Ah, uh, okay. So if you right-click on that and then copy the uh, URL. Ah, uh, okay. Um. And then you can drop that into the Vagrant file. Okay, yeah. Right. Okay, wait, well, I'll cancel this download, otherwise we have no bandwidth. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Okay, yeah. so let's just scroll down through this uh, Vagrant config and see if there's anything else that we need to set. 
Uh, I don't believe... Mm -hmm. I, I think this is all we're going to need to set, at least mm -hmm. for now. Because our next step really is just to get a Vagrant box up and running. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like everything else is commented out, is that correct? Yeah. Excellent. So... Yeah, let's let's um, download the the, the yes. template. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep. So you can do that by running vagrant up. Uh, yeah, the famous comment, the vagrant comment. Yeah. Yes. And so, of course, this is going to take a few minutes here uh, because it's downloading that VM for us. <clears throat> mm hmm. Okay. So maybe. Um, we will leave this running. I can go again back to this one. Mm, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, this repository we cloned. Well, I can summarize my, what I understood. We cloned um, this repository from ops code. Um, we now did the vagrant file and uh, we will we also configured knife so we can talk to host chef and yeah we our workstation is almost running now i would say which is then the vagrant um box uh, so the vagrant box will actually be a node oh okay okay Right, so the the vagrant box itself is going to run Chef Client. The workstation is really your local development oh, okay. environment, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is also something which I confuse to to um, make the difference between the the client. The, um, it's it's also the the guest, the host is my because vagrant is um, is a virtual machine, so it's also the guest of my workstation. Is this right? That is correct, yes. Because we're running this uh, Vagrant, uh, mm -hmm. or because we're using a Vagrant instance uh, for your node, the node itself is actually the guest on your host workstation. Now, mm -hmm. that, that node, of course, could be uh, off on EC2 or off on Rackspace or some other cloud provider, or it could be a physical machine uh, within your data center. Mm 